With rising costs of purchase feed and falling milk prices putting pressure on margins, Andrew Griffiths switched to a multi-cut silage system several years ago to try and improve efficiency and reduce concentrate usage. Since switching to a multi-cut system, not only have yields from forage risen through better quality forage, but also yields per hectare have increased as well. Multi-cut system silage may appear expensive due to the higher harvesting costs, but the benefits of greater milk production or reduced concentrate usage far outweigh these and ultimately will improve the bottom line. We are milking 400 cows here and we've got 300 followers as well. We're on a multi-cut silage system. The cows are milked and fed robotically. We've been on a multi-cut system now for 10 years now we've been on that system. We try and make more use of our homegrown forage and reduce concentrate costs. We try and improve our quality of forage to reduce costs to get more output out of the forage and reduce the concentrate costs, which gives us a lot more efficiency. The main challenges with the multi-cut system is the weather, the typical English weather is the main problems and we chop it with a forage wagon so we don't, we go in so short as often, we've got slightly longer chop length and we don't seem to get the slippages on the clamps neither, as if you go with a precision chop. The harvesting methods we use, uh, we mow it ourselves, we ted it depending on the weather, row it up and then we chop it with a forage wagon then. The tips I give someone to look at a multi-cut system is try and get that window of your four to five weeks, otherwise you lose your quality of the forage. If you've got a contractor coming in, make sure you've got your contractor organised and saying what you want to do. And if he will, try and get him to charge on the hour instead of on the acre with there being not so much on. We plan a nutrient applications. Um, we don't use masses of fertiliser. But if you do, just look how much you do. Test your grass before you chop it so you've got no nitrogen back in it. Um, we're on a separated slurry system, so we put the liquid side of the slurry on, which saves on the fertiliser as well. And you've got no um, contamination of the fibre in the slurry then neither. Key benefits in terms of cow health from multi-cut silage are better consistency throughout the year, reducing the need for so much concentrate, so a better forage to concentrate ratio, whilst still giving you enough energy to maintain fertility and health in early lactation. Uh, so challenges in terms of cow health, getting enough NDF into the cows to maintain room and health, and feeding high energy silage to dry cows might increase the need for more lower energy forages to be included with it. Don't be afraid to try your slurry systems or your fertiliser, but just always test your grass before you forage it so as you know what quality forage you're fetching in. Don't be afraid to try the system as the benefits far outweigh the costs of it. Mm -hmm.